On this channel, we have talked about many weird and wonderful engines, each one unique. You see, I love engines and I love cars, so when I see a cool new or weird take on the combustion engine, I love to make videos on them. Well, a few weeks ago, I made a video on Cyclone's external combustion engine. Now, the idea behind the engine is quite cool. It's a steam engine that can use any fuel to heat up water. The steam then gets released into the cylinders, causing compression, which then in turn moves the pistons and then turns the crankshaft. Now the idea is really quite cool, because according to their dyno results, the engine produces an insane amount of torque at almost zero RPM, and since it can run on any fuel, it's green, because you can use biomass to fuel it. Well, at the end of the video I said this. As of now, no engines have been delivered to customers, the engines have not been used in any commercial cars, and in fact the company has not made any updates since 2016, which is weird if the engine really does all these great things. Why did it not take off? Now obviously I had a bunch of comments stating that the oil giants killed off the engine and all of that, but some comments that catched my eye were from people claiming that this engine was just a huge scam. So I felt like I needed to investigate and see if I can find any proof of this company's legitimacy or on the other side any proof of them stealing from investors. Now Cyclone Power does more than just the steam engine, they have a few concepts all of which we'll look into today. So the plan is to look into each concept and see if any of them actually made it to market or if it was just concepts to get investments and nothing else. Ok, so let's start on a project that I wondered about when I made the previous video, their land speed record. Now since 2010, Cyclone has said that they want to break the land speed record for a steam powered vehicle using their Cyclone Mark 5 engine, the same engine we talked about in the previously mentioned video. Now naturally, when I read up on this engine last month, I was curious, did they break the record? Cause I mean they were talking about it in 2010. Well, no, the record is still held by Team Inspiration of Great Britain at 148 miles per hour. So what happened in the last 12 years? Well, that's what I hope to find out. I managed to find a website called Team Steam USA. It's an unprotected website, so make of that what you want. Um, there is a new section which has no updates. It looks like the website has seen no love since 2012. Clicking on the progress doesn't really tell you much. They say they are making excellent progress, but it's been 10 years and nothing has been updated. On the home page there is a join the team button, where you can donate some of your own money to help them reach their goal. Now on Cyclone Power's main website they claim that the Cyclone engine is currently installed and that they are missing safety gear of about $25,000 to complete the car. If Cyclone Power watches this video, guys, if you are legit, keep your investors updated. I mean I'm sure a bunch of people have already invested in this in the last 10 years and there's been no updates. If I were to invest I would love to see what is happening with the money. Next, the Mark 5. Finding any info on this engine that is not more than 10 years old is almost impossible. Again, no updates. So I tried to see if I can find any investors or people talking about the engine, like since then. Maybe you have to be in the loop to know what's going on. Short answer, no. As of February 13, 2016, no Mark 5 engines have been delivered to any customers or has been publicly demonstrated running since that date. But before we stop the video, they do a lot of other stuff as well. Maybe the other projects are stealing time and that's why they aren't going anywhere. One of those projects is the Rev Engine. On Cyclone's own website they state, Our contract was to deliver drawings to build a Cyclone engine for lawnmower applications. Rev Engine was a construction company subsidiary. The contract was completed by Cyclone with the successful delivery of the drawings and know-how of the Cyclone technology. Rev Engine partially built parts and assembly but got caught in the construction decline. The parts and partial assembled engine and drawings were returned to Cyclone. Cyclone received the full payment of the contract and the related technology is now available for a new customer integrator. So it went nowhere but according to them they did their part. I tried to find out more info on this but I failed, I'm not gonna lie. Next, the Eater. Yet another awesome concept by Cyclone Power. The Eater is designed to generate its own power by obtaining and digesting biomass. So it's like a little car that feeds itself biomass which it uses to drive. Awesome idea, again this project started more than 10 years ago. But I have to add this concept would take quite a while to produce. Um, 
the last 10 years almost no updates I can't find anything about. The US Defense Advanced Research Project Agency had a contract with Cyclone to aid with the development of this vehicle. Now according to Cyclone, this was a very successful venture and it put out 2 kilowatt. The system was delivered as per contract and according to them, the second part of the contract, the collection arm, was never completed by the other contractor and that's why it never got anywhere. Now if you go to the website, they have a whole list of projects and where they are. It doesn't seem like any of the actual engines are working and being used by the public, but I recommend you to go through it for yourself. So at the end of it, it seems like they've done a whole lot of research and development, but just doesn't look like any of these have been released to public. So the question again, is this a scam? For legal reasons, I have to say no, but let's be honest, they're not giving any updates on a 10 year old project is a bit fishy. Remember, people invested in this. I mean, if I invest, I would be pretty damn mad if nothing came of it. I mean, even if they fail, at least let the people know. And then on the land speed record side, you can still donate. I don't know if the link works and I'm not gonna test it, but my point is it's still open to donations and they're not uh, updating us. So I feel like it's just scummy. So I'll leave that question open. Is it a scam? I feel like you've got enough info to decide for yourself. Anyways, before I end off this video, I have to say, this sucks. Like I said in the opening statements of this video, I love cool new technologies, and when it turns out doesn't really work or there's nothing come of it, it just makes me sad actually, because the, all of these technologies is a way to keep the internal combustion engine alive, and then it's just a bunch of bullshit, and then it pees me off, yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. If you like anything car or engine related, go through my channel, I've got so many other videos and stuff, so I'm sure there's something you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?